I am very grateful for this opportunity to appear before the committee today. However, I'm also very angry and I'm also sad. Uh, my name is Linda Keiko. I'm a two-time Olympian in the sport of pistol shooting. I'm also the president of the Alberta Handgun Association, which is an organization that fosters and promotes the ISSF, otherwise known as Olympic style of competitions. I come from a family of Olympians in pistol shooting. Both my father and one of my sisters were both Olympians. I'm angry that my tax dollars are being wasted on policy that doesn't increase public safety. I'm angry that no matter how well I follow the law, the laws keep changing and the law changes are impacting me directly and people like me. I take great, great pride in representing my country on the world stage, as do all athletes. And I'm sad that due to the handgun ban, the order in council C-71 and this proposed legislation, that I will not be able to represent Canada on the world stage. That athletes who come after me won't even have an opportunity to compete as they will have no access to competition firearms. I am angry that this government has no concern for actual safety because if there was concern for safety, if there was actual effort made to increase public safety, I likely would not be here as a witness. Because if you had interests of public safety in mind, the measures that you did would not affect me as a vetted firearms owner. Your measures would then affect criminals. None of that I could see of that's being proposed in C21 or the withdrawn amendments made measurable improvements for public safety. Criminals have criminal behavior, and no matter what the law says, criminals will continue doing what they do. Instead of reducing crime, your handgun bans, ordering councils, and efforts to virtue signal that you're doing something, increase my paperwork by six weeks to represent Canada on the world stage. I now pay the government for the privilege of returning home with my guns, which are my property, on every return home to Canada. The extra paperwork I do does not make you my community or my children safer than they were before your measures were put into place. But it is a waste of my tax dollars. Instead of preparing to compete against my peers from the Ukraine, Greece, South Korea, France, among many others, I'm doing paperwork for the privilege of not being arrested or having my competition equipment confiscated at the border when I return home. These measures also remove any opportunity I have to take up hunting something that my father did that is inherently a Canadian tradition. Not only do I need to have my pal, I need to take a hunter safety course and plan out details of where I would hunt. Banning semi-automatic rifles removes this opportunity. Almost all hunters use semi-automatic rifles with the same magazine capacity as my competition handgun. The course that pal holders are required to take on top of hunter education courses, make hunters and competitive shooters safer with firearms than the majority of the population. I am constantly having my background checked as a PAL holder. I have small children. Firearm safety is so very important to me. My firearms are not a public safety threat and neither am I, nor are my teammates, my family and my friends. The measures that this government is taking will destroy competitive shooting sports in Canada. And there are so many more than just the narrow few that make it to the Olympics. And it will destroy our hunting culture to provide for our own families. As Canadians, we are all proud to see a Canadian competing on the world stage, bringing home a medal. That will end in the shooting sports because of the bans put already into place or that are currently being proposed. Removing a tool does not decrease violence. My sports equipment, my hunting tools are not a public safety threat. <laughs>